Shabbat Shalom. It's wonderful to have everyone here. Shabbat Shalom. Make yourselves at home, grab a seat, whether in the room or somewhere else, and just open up your hearts and open up your voices. Yalla, la, 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 yalla. Thanksgiving weekend and a chance for all of us to celebrate with friends and family, those in town and those in from out of town. But it's also a chance to celebrate just a regular Shabbat, another week in the year where we gather together for a beautiful evening. And to begin, we turn to the lighting of the Sabbath lights, page 13. And we invite Sandra Lichman to come forward. She is celebrating a special birthday tonight. I guess it was a surprise.
this. Is light, <coughs> light is the foundation of life, yet impassable to touch. Light is flowers growing and fruit trees blossoming, photosynthesis and rainbows shimmering. Light is energy and romance, enlightenment and lightning. Light is red and violet and magenta and blue. Lasers and campfires, warmth and illumination, the sun and the dawn. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech olam, asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav, b'tzivanu l'hadlik ner, shel Shabbat. Blessed are you, Adonai our God, eternal source of the universe, who hallows us with mitzvot and commands us to kindle the lights of the Sabbath. We continue with Lachado D on page 34. Shalom, Ateret Bala, Kam Bissimcha Uvitzola, Kohemune Am Segula, Boi Chala, Boi Chala, Boi Chala. 
לחדודי, לחדודי, לקראת כלה, לקראת כלה, בני שבת, בני שבת, נקבלה, נקבלה, לחדודי, לחדודי, לקראת כלה, לקראת כלה, בני שבת, בני שבת, נקבלה. We continue with the Chatzik Kaddish on page 42. <laughs> We turn to page 47. Please join me in the middle of the page in the English. It's actually the translation of the Ma'ariv Aravim. Together. Blessed are you, Adonai our God, eternal source of the universe, whose words make the evening fall, whose wisdom opens heaven's gates, whose understanding makes the ages pass and the seasons alternate, and whose will controls the stars as they travel through the sky. Creator of day and night, you roll back light before darkness and darkness before light. You cause the days to pass, bring on the night, and separate between day and night. The God of hosts is your name, living and eternal God, forever may you reign. Baruch Ata Adonai Hama'ariv Aravim. Blessed are you, O God, who makes the evening fall. Page 49. We are loved by an unending love. We are guided by the still small voice within us. We are loved by an unending love. A ne'er to me to be tended from generation to generation. And a gentle love. Giving meaning to our existence, structure to our lives. And of all the generations who have embraced their covenant.
57. Vishivdekhabetekhabeshivdekhabetekhabetekhabetekhabetekhabetekhabetekhabetekhabetekhabetekhabetekhabetekhabetekhabetekhabetekhabetekhabetekhabetekhabetekhabetekhabetekhabet
We love you and we are so excited to meet you. So Lila is three months and Eli, I believe, is three months. So we have a good match that we could make here. And we have some others over here. I think that this is the perfect shidduch right here on the Bema tonight. Lila, we're so excited to give you your Hebrew name here on this Thanksgiving weekend. The Hebrew name Miriam Yaakova. You are named in memory of your grandfather, Martin Fingerroot. Your, gra your grandparents are Barbara and Richard Bell. And your proud great-grandparents are Annette Fingerroot, Lorraine Bell, and Frank Sinclair. We love you already, and we can't wait to watch you grow. We know that your brother's going to be taking care of you. Isn't that right? <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, okay. Mazel tov. And Laura Fingerroot. And Laura Fingerroot the other is your grandmother as well. Ethan, step forward. Your family has a long history here at Temple Israel, and just like all of them, at the moment that you were required, you woke up and are not crying. So a perfect start. <laughs> it is on this very special occasion at this beautiful time that we bestow upon you your Hebrew name, Eitan Ruvain, in memory of your, <laughs> you're, cry you're crying already, as I like it, okay. <laughs> It's not a bris, it's just a naming. It's going to be okay. <laughs> In memory of your great grandmother, Susan Hahn Steiner, great grandfather, Robert S. Trepic, your proud grandparents, and I can tell you they are very tr proud, are Judy Trepic, Norman Trepic, Maida, and Bruce Harris, and your great grandfather, oh, now you're smiling. There we go. Great grandfather who makes you smile is Eric Steiner. Mazel tov, mazel tov. We love you already. Okay, Mila. Mila, the ballerina, can you see? She's in, she's already, hi. Hi, Mila. And you too are getting your Hebrew name on this special Shabbat. You are receiving the Hebrew name Yael Tzvia. You are named in memory of your great-grandfathers, Max Feinberg, Harry Sachs, and Harry Blau. Your proud grandparents are Judy and Irving Blau and Joyce and David Sachs. And your proud great-grandmothers, you're so blessed, are Lee Blau and Shirley Garrell. Yes, you're almost done, sweetheart. But we pray that you and all of your little friends up here grow up here at Temple Israel, and you grow to Torah, to study, to chuppah, finding a wonderful life partner, and ma'asim tovim, acts of loving kindness. We love you guys. Mazel tov. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Shehechianu vekimanu vehigianu hazman hazeh Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Shehechianu vekimanu vehigianu hazman hazeh Continue on page 61. Of course, this is the moment of redemption, and when we look into the eyes of our children, we do think of a world that is perfect and without any kind of violence or discrimination. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, you should go on to urj.org. And, uh, or actually, I'm sorry, my daughter will be upset at me. She works for the RAC, the Religious Action Center. Go to the RAC.org, which is the reform movements, and look at the, uh, and see if you can pull up the uh, video or the tape of the, uh, the piece that they did on Ferguson the other day. Uh, it was really very insightful. One of my colleagues, Susan Talvey, 
uh, is the rabbi who's most involved in that whole issue, and she was on uh, along with the president of the NAACP, and I thought it was a very even-handed, really a very good uh, thing to listen to. And uh, sort of in that spirit, we, uh, we turned to page 61 and prayed together at the bottom of the page. Standing at the waters of the Red Sea, at the Mason Dissing Line, at the walls of the Warsaw Ghetto, the Berlin Wall, the wall that separates men from women, the privileged from the persecuted, perpetrator from victim, the master from the slave. We cry out as did our ancestors in ancient days, let my people go, let all God's people be free, so that we may dance and sing together once again at the shores of the Red Sea as we sing together our song of redemption. <coughs> So I'll talk more about this at a future time, but I was whisked away by a friend of mine on a private jet to a airport hangar in uh, New York City where it was the Kinnus, the convention of the Shluchim, the emissaries of the Chabad mu movement, 5,000 Chabad rabbis and me, basically is what it turned out to. <laughs> and um, there was a bet about whether they would convert me or whether I would convert all of them first. And uh, we're still waiting to see which way, which way it goes. And again, I'll speak more about it at, at some depth, but I, I did, um, want to say that one of my favorite parts of the evening, and it was, it was a lot of fun, was that around 7.30, they went through the schedule and they announced that the spontaneous dancing would begin at 8.30. <laughs> and lo and behold, it did. It was amazing. And so Shabbat is sort of that way. We, we uh, sort of announce every week that at the fall of Shabbat, you're going to be happy, and you're going to sing, and you're going to dance, and you're going to light candles, and uh, that's really the, the way it is in Judaism. We set times uh, for our joy and for our prayer, and the song which really celebrates that is on page 65 as we sing together. <laughs> Vishamiru, Vene Yisrael, Vene Yisrael, Et Hashabat la sot, Et Hashabat le dorotam, Berit olam. Vishamiru, Vene Yisrael, Vene Yisrael, Et Hashabat la sot, Et Hashabat le dorotam, Berit 
ברית עולם, ביני ובין בני ישראל, אותי לעולם, כי ששת ימים עשה אדוני את השמיים ואת הארץ ושמרו בני ישראל, בני ישראל את השבת לעשות את השבת לדורותם ברית עולם וביום השביעי, וביום השביעי, שבת ויהי נפש. וביום השביעי, וביום השביעי, שבת ויהי נפש. וביום, וביום, השביעי שבת, שבת. Anyone feel like spontaneous dancing? La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, ya la la, ya la 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 la, ya la 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 la, ya la 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 la, ya la la, ya la 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 la, ya la 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 la, ya la 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 la, ya la la, ya la 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 la, ya la la. La 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 la, ya la 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 la, ya la la ya la 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 la, ya la 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 la, ya la 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 la, ya la la ya la 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 la, ya la 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 la, ya la 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 la. We rise together on page sixty-eight. Adonai. Sephatai tiptahu fi agitei latecha Eternal God, open my lips that my mouth may declare your glory Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu, Elohei avoteinu vimoteinu Elohei Abraham, Elohei Yitzhak, Elohei Yaakov Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Leah, Elohei Rachel Ha'el Ha'gadol, Ha'gibor, Ve'ha'nora El Elyon, Kumel Chasadim Tovim Ve'kone Ha'kol Ve'zokher Chaste Avor Ve'imahot Ume'vi Ge'ula Livne Vnehem Lema'an Shemo Ve'ahava מלך עוזר ומושיע ומגן, ברוך אתה אדוני, מגן אברהם בעזרת שרה, אתה גיבור לעולם אדוני, מחיי הכל אתה רב להושיע, מכלכל חיים בחסד, מחיי הכל ברחמים רבים, סומך נופלים ורופא עולים ומתיר אסורים ומקיים אמונתו לשני עפר מחמוך בעל גבורות ומדום אלך מלך ממיד ומחיה ומצמיח ישועיו נאמנת על החיות הכל ברוך אתה אדוני מחיה הכל אתה קדוש ושמך קדוש וקדושים בכל יום יהללו חסלה ברוך אתה אדוני האל הקדוש As you see we pray silently
lucky enough, spent time this week with family and friends, and when we're together, sometimes we feel illness even more acutely when we look around the table and think about what everybody's going through and maybe people who weren't able to be at that table this year. And so we send our love and our prayers of healing to people in our lives, sometimes ourselves, anyone who's in need of a little extra special push this week as we turn to page 83 for the Misha Bera. Oh, 
best laid plans. Tomorrow is Benji's 11th birthday. It's something of a milestone moment for the regulars of this Kabbalat Shabbat service. <laughs> this is his last year of being able to run up onto the bima at the Aleinu. <laughs> run, of course, is the operative word. So, 11 years ago when Benji was born, we named him Benjamin, but we knew that we would call him Benji. And we also knew that someday, when he was about 10 years old, he would decide that he wanted to be called Ben. And I was prepared. I knew exactly what I was going to say when it happened. I even practiced it out loud. This is how it would go. He would come to me and he would say, I'm not Benji, I'm Ben. To which I would respond, but you'll always be Benji to me. So, the first day of school this year, Benji came home, and he told me that he had filled out the place card for his desk with the name Ben slash Benji slash Benjamin. <laughs> and then he added, I think I might want to be called Ben. And my heart started racing, and my palms were sweating, and every thought I had flew out of my head, and all of my practice was for naught, as I resp responded with a resounding cry of defeat. No! <laughs> Best laid plans. Fact is, it's just as the Yiddish phrase goes, man plans and God laughs. But P.S., he came home from school the next day, and he told me he had crossed off the name Ben from his name card, and much to my relief, still goes by the name Benji. Best laid plans. On November 15th, Trader Joe's got their shipment of kosher turkeys in, and I was prepared. I sent Sheldon to the market that very day to pick up a turkey for our Thanksgiving dinner. He went, and all was well and good, until I realized that the turkey made its way into the freezer instead of the refrigerator. And the day before Thanksgiving, it was hard as a rock. Man plans, God laughs. Postscript, thank you to the Butterball Hotline who taught me to defrost a turkey in cold water, and it tasted delicious. Best laid plans. We're leaving for Israel in a few weeks on the Temple Israel Family Adventure, and we are all super excited because this is a first trip for our family. And even though all of us are going, I'm actually leaving before the rest of the family. I intended to have everyone packed well in advance of my departure. But you know how things go. Life gets in the way, I'm busy, and I'm leaving in 10 days, and nothing has happened yet. So now I'm changing the phrase. I plan, <laughs> and God laughs. And P.S., my mom and dad came into town ostensibly to visit us, but really, they're here to help me pack. <laughs> Best laid plans. All we have to do is look at the Torah portion this week. It tells the story of Jacob and Rachel and Leah. The first time that Jacob sees Rachel, he is absolutely taken by her. In superhero fashion, he rolls a large boulder from the well and waters her flock without even, and without even saying a word, kisses her, also in what can only be described as superhero fashion. It is love at first sight, and he will do anything for her. And so he makes a deal with her father and his uncle, Laban, that he will work for seven years in order to marry Rachel. In the words of one of my sons, he must have loved her a lot, <laughs> and that he did. He worked the seven years, which, as the rabbis say, felt but a few days because he was so in love, to marry her. And then when he woke the next morning, he discovered he had married the wrong sister, Leah, instead of Rachel. Indeed, man plans and God laughs. Postscript. Jacob makes a deal to work another seven years so he can marry Rachel. And this time, 
Laban follows through on the deal. And all in all, it doesn't work out so bad for Jacob. He marries both Rachel and Leah, fathers children with them and their handmaids, Bilhah and Zilpah, and is the patriarch of a large family of 12 sons and a daughter. Some people say that things happen for a reason, and maybe they do. But I tend to think that instead of things happening for a reason, we must simply make the best of the situation we have. We have a choice, and I choose to be optimistic. I suggest that we use our talents and our skills to make the best of whatever the cards we are dealt. We can always make lemonade, and more often than not, things don't go according to plan, and we have to be prepared for the unexpected. Jacob's story is the perfect example, and he does seem to be the kind of man who just goes with the flow. He has to be, if you think about the kind of life he has led. What did he think would happen after he stole his brother's birthright, ending up having to flee his brother's wrath? And didn't he know the older daughter has to be married before the younger? Had he considered that possibility of being married to Leah? And was it really possible, our ancient rabbis wanted to know, that after seven years of working for Laban, Jacob couldn't tell the difference between the two sisters? It really doesn't make sense. And so our rabbis explain it in a beautiful, albeit complicated way. Aware that her father was going to trick Jacob into marrying Leah because she was the older daughter, Rachel and Jacob created a secret sign to allow him to distinguish between the two sisters under the chuppah and on their wedding night. But at the last minute, Rachel realized that if she allowed the plan to go through, Leah would be shamed by Jacob, leaving her standing unwed under the chuppah. And so she let her sister in on the plan, teaching her the secret sign, and even going so far as hiding under the bed on the wedding night and responding when Jacob spoke so that he would hear her voice instead of Leah's. I love how our rabbis take a challenging story and twist it turning it into a story not of trickery and rivalry between sisters, as is often read, but of kindness and compassion. We plan, and God laughs. A thousand things could have gone wrong with this plan, but they didn't, at least as far as we know. It might have actually been the best outcome given the situation, and if nothing else, it certainly makes for a good story. Since as human beings we are constantly planning, I think God must constantly be laughing. And it's time that we start laughing with God. Having just passed another Thanksgiving day, I suggest that in tandem with this week's Torah portion by Yetze, that this is the perfect opportunity. We can do this by being optimistic, by taking stock of our lives, and then taking charge of them. Don't put off till tomorrow. Thanksgiving and every day is an opportunity to express gratitude to the people around us by saying please and thank you and I love you. Laughing with God means being prepared for the unexpected. It means being flexible and confident that one way or another, everything's going to be okay. And for all the new parents, who named their babies tonight, in 10 years, when your child decides he wants to be called Ben or the nickname that's equivalent for your child, just remember that no is probably not the correct response. <laughs> but whatever you say, it'll be so much easier if you're already laughing. So I wish you all a happy Thanksgiving and a Shabbat Shalom. There once was a poor man. Pflegt er noch mit Gott sich kriegen? Would only quarrel with God. Wunder. 
Wunder über Wunder. Wonder upon wonder. Hat mit ihm getroffen. Would befall him. Wenn er hat gesungen. When he sang. Hat er sah mir nirgend. Such a melody. Chidi bim bam bam. Chidi bidi bam bam. Chidi bim bam bam. Oi, oh, chidi bidi bim bam. Chidi bim, chidi bam. Chidi bam bim bam bam. Ay, 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 ay. Wine flowed from the melody, and he swallowed it, sip after sip. Hat von Nigen sich Wein gegossen, hat er Sub noch Sub geschlungen. Wunder, liebe Wunder, hat mit ihm getroffen, wenn er hat gesungen, hat er so gesungen. Chiri bim bam bam, chiri bidi bam bam. Chiri bim, bam bam, chiri bim, bam bam, bam bam, chiri bam bam, bam bam, Sing der Jed und skiss ich Musikes, jeser Arsch von Fred gesprungen. Wunder, lieber Wunder, hat mit ihm getroffen, wenn er hat gesungen, hat er so gesungen. If you clap with me, I'll think of my tambourine. Chidi bim bam bam, chidi bidi bam bam, chidi bim bam bam, hoi chidi bidi bim bam, chidi bam, chidi bam, chidi bam bim bam bam, ay 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 ay, chidi bim bam bam, chidi bidi bam bam, chidi bim bam bam, hoi chidi bidi bim bam, chidi bim, chidi bam, chidi bam. Bim bam bam, bam ay 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 ay. Hey, chidi bim bam bam, chidi bidi bam bam, chidi bim bam bam. Oh, chidi bidi bim bam, chidi bim, chidi bam, chidi bam bim bam bam, ay 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 ay. Chidi bim, chidi bam, chidi bam bim bam bam, ay 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 ay. our congregational announcements this evening. It's my pleasure to call up one really proud grandpa and our executive board member, Ed Royal. Shabbat Shalom. After seeing all these beautiful babies up here on the Bema tonight, there's no such thing as a Black Friday, so. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. I hope it wasn't a trip to Fan Friday. Temple Israel and APAC welcomes Mossab Hassan Yusif, the author, author of the book Son of Hamas, on Thursday, December the 11th at 7.30 p.m. The whole community is invited. His topic will be Escaping Tyranny, The Son of Hamas Speaks. For information, you can contact Temple or the Associate Director Joshua Hahn of APAC Michigan. The Fresh Food Pantry will continue the first Tuesday of every month, and the next one is this Tuesday, December the 2nd, from 3 to 6 p.m., just outside the foyer here at Temple. The only eligibility requirement is that you need food. Forgotten Harvest has partnered with us to fulfill this need in our local community. Be sure to mark your calendar for the upcoming Temple Book Fair. It will take place from Sunday, December the 7th through Thursday, December the 11th. It's a great place to get any gift, especially Hanukkah gifts, as Hanukkah is approaching rapidly. So go there fast and often. 
for further information to RSVP or to participate in any of these programs, you can contact the Temple office. You can stop at the information table on your way out. And on behalf of the officers and the members of the Board of Trustees, please join me for the ONEG after services tonight, and I wish you all Shabbat Shalom. The ONEG tonight will be in the Corman Hall, so it'll be like an exodus all the way down to the other side of the building. We rise together as we turn to the Elenu on page 189, and we invite Benji and all the other kids who are still 11 and under to come up and receive a special Shabbat treat. Alenu le Shabbat la don ha kol la tekru la leotze breshit shelo asanu ki goye haratzot velo samanu ki mishpachot hadama shelo sam chelkenu kahem vegor alenu ke kol hamonam banachnu korim umishtachamim umodim livnei mel. Hamnachim, Hakadosh Baruch Hu, Venemar veHayadonai, Nemelech al Kol Haaretz, Bayom Hahu, Bayom Hahu, Ki Yadonai Echad, Ushemo, Ushemo, Ushemo. Be seated. Our thoughts turn now to the task of memory as we recall the names of those in our community who have died in the past 30 days. We remember Gail Benson, Larry S. Berman, Anne Black, Bernice Voren Boorman, Edward Braver, Harold Broad, Harry Colombo, Louise Cohn. Lottie Gellerman, Sonia Glatzer, Rabbi Abraham Goldberg, Shepard Goldberg, Lynn Goodman, Eleanor Hamer, Rabbi Arya Kapinski, Dr. Morton R. Lazar, Sadie Leader, Sheldon Lieb, Pearl Sharfman Linoff, Evelyn Levenso, Rabbi Kalman Levine, Nathan Malbin, Yetta Melton, Richard Allen Monash, Dr. Scott Oster, Rhoda Gross Rappaport, Isidore Richman, Norman Rosenfeld, Sophie Smiler, Wells Skip Snover, Nadine Tack, Ruby Tompkins, Rabbi Moshe Twersky, Elaine Wagenberg, Ruth Widrich, Arthur Wolf, and Rabbi Morton Hoffman. We also remember those whose yard sites fall on this week, Bernard Arnold, Adele Elkin, Fanny Gorin, Aaron Greenfield, Dr. Herbert Hafner, Heather Heath, Morris Hendon, Sheldon Honig, Sarah Kagan, Irene Keeps, Anna Kittner, William Light, Benjamin Murov, Cheryl Ann Saif, Dr. Philip M. Sherman, Morris Silber, Michael Yendick, Harry Weinstein, Bertha Wilson, Phyllis Hendrick, Hannah Schwartz, Edward Schlossberg, Mary Schlossberg, Judith E. Robinson, Flora Stolberg Weisberg, Leo First, Molly First, Raymond Find, Benjamin Davis, Mona Stern, Norma Galper, Elliot Kaplan, Shirley Cohen, Mary Kelman, and Saul Strager. We remember them with love and we honor them with words of Kaddish found on page 199 as we rise together. Yitgadal v'yitkadash shemei rabba ve'alma divrach hirutei v'yamlich malchutei v'chayechon uv'yomechon uv'chaye d'chol beit Yisrael v'agala uv'izman kariv v'imru amen yehei shemei rabba mevarach le'olam u'olmei almaya yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitramam v'yitnasei v'yitadar v'yitale v'yitalal shemei d'kudsha v'richu Leila min kol bircha ta v'shirata, tush becha ta v'nechemata, da amiran ve'alma v'imru, amen. Yehei shalama rabba min shemaya, v'chayim aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael v'imru, amen.
Ose shalom bim ramav, huya ase shalom, aleinu veal kol Yisrael v'imru, amen. May God send peace to all who mourn and comfort to all who are bereaved among us. And together we say, amen. We conclude our service on page 202 with Ain Kelohenu. Shalom.